Hello friends, so today in this video we're gonna discuss the second problem from the latest code forces round 720 problem named Nastia and good array. So it actually gives a problem statement as you are given an array A and an array A is called good. If if you just take out any two numbers, let's AI and AI minus one, if you just take out two adjacent numbers, then their GCD should be equal to one. And if you take out every two adjacent numbers, let's assume that you have some array. If you take out every two adjacent numbers, then their GCD should be equal to one. Okay. Or like they should be co prime. Okay. Then if this array is called good. Now you are given some array and you have to make that array good. Now to make that array good, you can perform different type of operation. The operation can be, you can choose two indices i and j, and then you can change those two values at those indices to x comma y. Like you can show, like you can choose any two indexes, change their value to different numbers such that the minimum of the original value and the minimum of the new value should be seen. So you choose out two indices they have some value which is in there before like maybe you choose out two uh, indices like two and five okay maybe you choose out these or like they are not adjacent okay but but you have to make two adjacent numbers co prime but they should not be adjacent like if you choose out two indices you can choose any two index no matter what okay so if you choose out let's do that if you choose out these two indexes the first and the fourth index and the number on them are two and four now you can change these numbers to any number given the condition that if the original number has two different values, let's assume two and six, you can change them to any any different values such that the the minimum of the original value is the minimum of original value two and six should be equal to the minimum of the new value. The minimum of let's assume that you make the two values equal to four comma two. Like you can make this value equal to four and this value equal to two, which is fine. Such that the new value minimum should be equal to the previous values minimum. The, the order doesn't matter out whatever like you can, you can switch them out whatever you can do but the minimum of the original value should be equal to the minimum of the new value you, you want to change then you have to just check that can you make this array equal to uh can you make this array equal to a uh, good array in at most n operations and means that number of uh, elements which are there in the array can you make that you don't have to minimize the number of operation you just check that yet yeah, is this possible and it is given that yes it is possible in obviously in all cases then you just have to output a sequence of operations you have to do the operations is you have to choose two indexes which you have to move like which you have to change so give the indexes and the number you want to change them into so i want to change the one index into 11 and the fifth index into nine but you have to ensure that the first and fifth index if you check, check that the first and the fifth index the minimum of them is nine so nine and the new number you have to change is also nine. So as you can see, the minimum matches out. So you have to change such that the minimum of the original values and the minimum of the new value you want to change into should be same. Rest, you can do anything. Okay. And then you have to just give the output of that. When I thought about this problem, I thought that because the constraints are log, like large, like 10 to power uh, n plus, like 10 to power uh, five. So you cannot do this as O of n square. You cannot choose every two index and do that. But I can do this in O of n. Now, how you can do this in O of n? Let it means that I have to change two adjacent numbers. If I take some number, let's assume three, and if I change the next number to four, next number to five and six, then obviously all the numbers will be co-prime because no number will divide the next number, which is like which I want actually. So, can I make in this sequence? Can I make the num first number three, then four, then five, then six, and so on? Then I th I just thought that like in that fashion. But the, but the problem which came into my mind is, okay, let's assume that the first number is three, next number is three, four, then the next number is three. Okay. Then if I choose these two numbers and uh, the minimum of them is three and the maximum is four. So I can make them change into three into four only. Now, if I ch choose these two indexes, which is four and three, I, if I want to change them into some another number. Okay. So the original minimum is three. And I want to change them to another number such that the three should not go. So three should be there. And then maybe I want to make this equal to five. So now if I want to change these numbers, then I want to somehow put three here and then a five here, but then the GCD of this will become three and it actually caused me problem. I hope you, I hope you are getting with me what I was facing the problem, but the problem was easily rectified after seeing that I, I should not take these two numbers but I should find out the minimum of them. Like 
वॉट एवर द एरे इज इफ आई फाइंड आउट द मिनिमम ऑफ दैट एरे एंड जस्ट टेक दैट नंबर विथ एनी नंबर विच इज कॉजिंग एज द प्रॉब्लम सो एज यू कैन सी वॉट इज एक्चुअली द प्रॉब्लम इफ सम नंबर इज एक्सम थ्री देन सम नंबर इज फाइव देन सम नंबर इज एट ओके देन इफ दिस इज थ्री एंड दिस इज फाइव लाइक आई कैन मेक द नेक्स्ट नंबर आई कैन मेक दिस इन टू थ्री इंटू फोर like if if i take these two indexes i can make convert them into 3 into 4 why because the minimum of this is 3 and the minimum of this is 3 which is fine my condition is satisfied so i can convert them okay now if this is 3 in, like this is 4 if i take now these two elements like like this is change to 4 now if i if i take uh, this is equal to convert it to 4 now so if i take next two elements this is 4 and i can make this equal to 5 and the series can continue out which is co prime but now the number is 3 I cannot make this equal to uh, six now because if this is converted to five, and if I take five into five and three, then the minimum should be three, and this condition will actually uh, get like uh, problematic. So what I actually actually do here is instead of taking these two elements, just take the minimum element till now. Like not till now, I can find out the minimum among the whole element list, and the minimum is three as you can see. Now take the pair of this and this. Okay, so the minimum of this is three only. And change this is to five, or actually six. Sorry, because like the the series is three, four, five, six. So it if it's converted to six now, then obviously it is fine because the pair, the minimum of both of them initially was minimum is three, and the new minimum is also three because this is three only. So I have to somehow find out the minimum of them, and that's what we're gonna do here. Is if we have some array, uh, let's assume that I have some array. I will write down the example which I actually solved for a uh, small example. Let's assume I have the array like uh, five. uh this is actually 4 then 3 then 6 okay find out the minimum i find out the minimum to be this okay then from this minimum go ahead in the right hand side and try to make this in a increasing fashion like this is 3 this is i i just want to make this in in this fashion i want the final array to be like this 3 4 5 and uh, Because this is the minimum, and the rest of them are increasing. Because in this case, there is no like always all the numbers are co-prime, and I just change these five numbers. Array size is six. I just do five operations, and thus that can obviously in all the time I can do that because I only change this number. This number is not changed, so the it can at most be done in four steps, like five steps. Sorry, so n minus one steps. Now, as you can see, how I am actually doing it is I am comparing the this number and the next number. If the next number is greater than that. then obviously i can increment them because if it is greater than that the minimum is staying constant and the next number can be increased which is like 3 and 4 if now it is converted to 4 so i just match 4 and 6 now obviously this is smaller so i can make this equal to 5 now go from this to in this format this is 3 this is 4 which is fine oh sorry this is 3 this is 4 which is 5 this is 5 which is fine now this is 3 i cannot change this i cannot make a pair Of this and this and make this six because I can only make a pair such that this should be greater than that. If it is equal to eight, then I can make that because if we make a pair of this, the minimum of this is five, and the minimum of the new numbers I choose is also five. But if this is three, the pair minimum of this should be equal to three, and then this will not occur because I do not want to change this. I just want to change this. If I want to change this, the minimum should match. The maximum should not match. So if I want the minimum to match. i should not match this i should match the the most minimum the most minimum i have seen is the middle one from which i have started so i can store out this index and thus whenever my sequence is increasing only which means that it is four than five then i can just match i can just make this as a pair and change this out but if it just somehow get decreasing if this becomes smaller than the previous number then i will make a pair of this and this Now this cannot get more smaller because this is the most smallest, and this is the most smallest in the whole area. Find it, find it out. So then, if I make a pair of this and this, this is remaining constant, which is three, and this I can make to six. So I should always make a pair such that the first number should remain the the first number is the smallest, and uh, like you can always like make a pair of this only. So like make this as a first pair, and this you can change like four. Then you can make make this five. You can make this six. You can also do that. Like I just got this intuition. The first number is always three, and the next number, the, like the next number, you can make four, five, six, and so on. You don't have to like match the next, like the two consecutive numbers. Just find out the minimum number, 
and match the minimum number to the next number then the next number then obviously this is the minimum number so this will not change but you can make this 4 5 6 and you can make this 4 5 6 so the number will become co prime and the minimum will remain the same so you can also write the code for this find out the minimum among all of them and then for the minimum just move to the left hand side and right hand side just take the minimum element to be the same and the right hand side just increase by one and just right, left hand side also increase by one and so on so you can add the code for that also you can also see the code for mine also uh, the code for mine is uh, the same but i've just written down the four conditions if the previous number so let's say i'm going to the right direction if the next number is greater than the previous number then we can just do that in the same manner and just change the current number else if it is smaller then i will compare it with the uh, i will compare it with uh, what I actually compare I'll, I'll just compare it with the minimum index okay then i will change so as you can see i've just compared with the index value else if it is greater than then just take the current and the next index and we are doing the same manner in the left hand side i hope you understand the logic in the code part you can look into the code parts not too difficult to understand if you just understand the logic part so also next one is the keep coding and bye